Hello everyone, our Jerome Harris from DVDScopy.com. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, some of the features of a very nice program called DVD Blu-ray Copy. And as the name implies, this application can copy a Blu-ray movie onto a regular DVD disc. So let's take a look at this. Uh, right now you're looking at the graphical user interface and uh, over the left hand side you will have a menu and uh, in this case we're going to select the uh, Blu-ray to DVD. Up to the top in the middle on the top here is your source so right now if I were to insert a Blu-ray movie into this uh, my Blu-ray drive which I'm going to do right now in fact the movie is um, T2 Terminator 2 And right now what's happening is that uh, that uh, movie is being uh, scanned and uh, since I'm in North America I'm going to uh, select uh, OK. I don't need image burn. I just have it installed on my PC so let me get that out of the way. And incidentally uh, you also can uh, drag uh, uh, folders that you've already uh, ripped uh, movies 2 onto your PC into this control panel or if you have an ISO file of a Blu-ray movie uh, you can also drag and drop that into this area right here and while this is scanning just let me let you know what you're gonna need you're gonna need to have installed in your PC a Blu-ray uh, reader at minimum because you're gonna be reading the data from the Blu-ray movie you don't have to have a Blu-ray burner uh, I do have one, but uh, you don't have to have one unless you're going to be burning a uh, Blu-ray movie onto a blank Blu-ray disc. Uh, and you're going to have to have a uh, DVD burner. And uh, if you do have just one Blu-ray burner, uh, not to worry because uh, those devices uh, also act as uh, DVD burners as well. But again, you're going to have at least a uh, Blu-ray reader and a DVD burner. Okay, at this point, uh, DVD Fab uh, Blu-ray Copy has scanned the DVD, and what I typically do is that I leave everything at their default settings, but I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what's going on here. So we have our uh, Blu-ray movie inserted in uh, our source drive, and in my case, it's the F drive. That's my Blu-ray burner. And uh, I also have another DVD burner installed in my PC, and that's drive F, rather drive E. Uh, a lot of you may have just one uh, device in your PC so your drive letters may be the same. In other words you're gonna uh, use the same drive to uh, uh, read the data from the Blu-ray movie and also burn the data to a blank DVD. Alright so that depends upon your configuration. The target drive is the drive that you're burning that data onto. Alright down here uh, Blu-ray or DVD fab Blu-ray to DVD automatically selects the uh, longest title and this is your movie itself because you can see that it has the longest play time 2 hours and 33 minutes aspect ratio of 16 over 9 just leave it as it is over to the right you can uh, pick and choose the particular languages that you want uh, to appear on that DVD and uh, the um, bit rate or the quality and I usually keep that with the default settings uh, here I have English now, you know it's going to be T DTS. Now, keep in mind that uh, DTS uh, is a how can I put it? It's a more uh, crisper uh, 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 quality of audio, but it's going to take more of your blank DVD resources to copy that onto your blank DVD. So you might, some of you might want to uh, select one of these other ones, AC3 where they will not take up much of your blank DVD resources because the idea here is if you're copying a larger format uh, Blu-ray movie down to a smaller capacity DVD blank DVD you want to free up as much of, of the resources on that blank DVD uh, for the movie itself because uh, if, if you're going to be placing say um, a high quality audio onto a low capacity DVD then there's going to be more compression going on. So the less compression, uh, the better. So uh, in this case, I'm going to leave it at its default, but 
please be feel free to go ahead and deselect that and choose any of these others down here as well. Uh, the audio is going to be just fine. Down here where it says remove AC audio, uh, you have something called sub picture. This, these are your subtitles. And right now, if I were to copy this DVD movie, this Blu-ray movie, onto a blank DVD disc, it's going to have some subtitles. Now, if I don't want subtitles, then I'm going to go ahead and uncheck all these. And you're going to have to scroll up here a little bit because they'll sneak some stuff in here on you. So let me uncheck those because I don't want sub pictures or subtitles. So that's all blank. But that's up to you. you speak French or here, uh, French-speaking friends. Uh, you might select French or Spanish. Okay. I don't want any. All right, now down here at the very bottom, you have uh, some options here. You can copy that Blu-ray movie onto a 4.7 gigabyte DVD-5 disc. So if you do that, please pay attention to your video bitrate. Your video bitrate is the is, is a measure of the quality of that video. So the higher this number right here, the better. All right, now. If you are going to copy a Blu-ray movie onto a smaller capacity uh, DVD-5 disc, there's going to be a lot of compression going on. And let me explain these to you. Let's view it this way. Your typical Blu-ray movie uh, can have a capacity up to, say, from 20 gigabytes up to 50 gigabytes. That's a lot of uh, data. That you're trying to squeeze down to a 4.7 gigabyte so we're talking about a lot of compression there so if there's a lot of compression your audio quality is going to uh your, your video and audio quality is gonna not be as good as the original movie and, it, and you should not expect it to be all right but however let's say if you wanted to uh, copy that blu-ray movie onto a larger dual layered a four point rather 8.5 gigabyte DV9 notice the video bitrate numbers now see they jumped so what that's telling me here that higher number means that uh, whatever I copy on to this blank DV9 this is gonna have a, a better video and all audio quality than if I copied it on to a blank DV5 disc so but a lot of us don't have these uh, blank DV9 disc on our uh, desktop or laying around anywhere we most of us use uh, the regular DVD 5 disc because you know that's what we copy our regular DVD movies onto but uh, again we're dealing with uh, Blu-ray movies they're different their uh, capacity is much larger than your regular DVD so you might want to attempt to copy those onto a larger capacity dual layered DVD 9 disc because you're gonna have better video and audio quality all right so uh, I'm going to put it back at uh, DVD 5 because that's what I have on hand right now and then once you get these uh, set settings in here then you can click next now keep in mind that over to the left hand side you also have a preview pane and that you watch the um, copying process and another thing that you're gonna want to have I mentioned earlier that you're gonna have to have certain things in your PC such as a Blu-ray Blu reader and at minimum and a uh, DVD burner you're gonna have to also have plenty of hard drive space um, I mean if, if, you, if you have like say 60 gigabytes 80 gigabytes of free hard drive space you're fine you're, you're good to go but if you, if you have limited hard drive space then this is not gonna work because the movie itself rather because the program is going to have to extract that data off that Blu-ray movie and place it someplace temporarily on your PC to operate on it and then copy it onto a blank DVD so uh, make sure that you have plenty of hard drive space before you even think about um, copying Blu-ray movies okay uh, with that said let's click next and then the next screen basically just gives you some information the, a confirmation window just basically saying okay if, is this what you want to do this is what you're about to do you're about to copy a blu-ray movie to a DVD and that's the name of the movie and uh, you can come down here if you wish and you can change the title I'll leave it as it is and you're copying on it onto a blank DVD 5 disc alright ready to go then you click start 
So right now what we're looking at is DVD Fab Blu-ray copy, doing a copy of that uh, Blu-ray movie. It's actually right now copying it down to the hard drive where it will operate on it and then um, copy it down to a blank DVD. So how long will this take? Well, DVD Fab Blu-ray copy tells you that. If you come down to the bottom down here, it shows you the time elapsed. So it's been about uh, three minutes since I uh, clicked the start button. But down here is telling you here that uh, the task time left is two hours, 45 minutes and you know some change there. So this is to let you know that it does take quite uh, some time to do a copy of a Blu-ray movie down to a blank DVD disc because like I said earlier, Blu-ray movies are much, much larger than your regular DVDs and plus uh, DVD Fab Blu-ray copy has to change that uh, Blu-ray movie data that is putting onto your hard drive into a format that can be burned down to a blank DVD. So right, even right there you have uh, a time element that, uh, that where time is being consumed to do that before it's burned down to a DVD. So this is uh, typical. This is, this is a standard when you're copying these Blu-ray movies. You also have a status indicator down here at the bottom that gives you uh, a progress window uh, as well as showing you the time there in text. Up here you have a preview tab. If you click on that, you're able to see the uh, uh, copying, transcoding process taking place. Um, you're not going to see anything smooth here. It's going to show you this you know, clips as the uh, data extraction process uh, goes on. And under the option tab there, there's not much there other than there's a option where you can automatically shut down the PC when the entire process is done. Okay. So, since we do have about uh, two hours and 50 minutes or so for this entire process to complete, uh, I'm not going to run you through the whole thing here because that would be, you know, ludicrous. I think that's a Mike Tyson word, right? But anyway, um, I am just letting you know what's going to happen after this is finished. Now, once this process is uh, at 100%, uh, depending on your PC configuration, DVD Fab Blu-ray copy is going to prompt you to remove the original DVD movie and insert your blank DVD. And then you'll click the start button and then it'll go through the process of etching or burning your uh, Blu-ray movie to the blank DVD disc. Now that process is not going to take very long because you're writing data to a much smaller capacity blank DVD. We're talking what 15-20 minutes for the actual final phase which is burning to take place. So that's what's going to happen and uh, I can tell you from experience that uh, this is a good program. Uh, a, a lot of uh, work has gone into what's under the hood as far as the coding and the program is very reliable and what you get on the other side is a great uh, copy of a, of a Blu-ray movie. So uh, you can purchase this program uh, with confidence. This is Artrome Harris from DVDScopy.com. Thank you for listening.